What I seek to do with my practice is to challenge modes of representation through photography. I try to rethink the way that we make images and speak about certain groups of people, communities, places and stories. From the beginning for me, camera and photography became this uh, rebellious tool that I could use to basically document hidden spaces and hidden stories that was about my life and in my surroundings. And after migration, I think that relationship shifted in a different way because I was confronted with the way that my identity as an Iranian woman was understood and portrayed within the Western context. The main struggle I, I had as a migrant was in a struggle against images. In the Exodus I Love You More is a series that I started making after my father's passing. I was searching for my father through the lens of the camera. But also the work became about absence and my own absence from the country. Fear of losing that connection to the homeland and fear of losing my sense of identity. And so I wanted to tell the story of Iran, the Iran that my father loved and I loved too. Remain was made in 2018 with a group of asylum seekers who were detained on Manus Island. One of the men who was detained there was Behrouz Bouchani. He wrote quite extensively from the camps and despite all the death, the society in Australia was basically ignorant towards what was happening in the camp. The refugees are denied the right to beauty and poetry and we wanted to invent a language that could make people feel and understand and see those people in a different light. Behold is a series that I made in 2016 and it's a work that I made with a group of homosexual men who spoke to me about this secret bathhouse that existed and they wanted me to document their stories there, staging realities and constructing those documentary scenes with real people in real places to give the agency back to the subject matter, to collaborate with them, to allow them to perform these stories for the camera. In the photographs, you see parts of the images are concealed with the steam that was covering the lens. And also it was a very low light environment, only a few holes on the ceiling that natural light was coming in. But this idea of concealing as a way of revealing for me is something that you, you see throughout all the works that are on display in this exhibition. I have to say that I see the three works Behold, Remain and Agonistes as three works that were born from one another and are deeply connected to each other. Initially inspired by the stories that the men on Manus Island told me about, the, the Australian staff, the whistleblowers, and the trauma that they withheld in their bodies from what they saw. To me, they were modern tragic figures. I was thinking at that point, the body that holds other people's traumas and narratives and archives it like a museum too. So the reference to Greek statues was a way of referencing the earlier formations of democracy basically in Athens. Speak the Wind was born from the islands of the southern coast of Iran in the Strait of Hormuz. Mm -hmm. I became absolutely obsessed with the beauty of the landscape, its otherworldliness. For me, the project is a very different way of thinking about invisibility and documenting invisible histories. And the challenge in this particular project was much bigger because everything I wanted to photograph was invisible from spirits, history, the wind itself, and the magic. Everything I make pictures of is what sits around these invisible entities. The mountains are the portraits of the wind. When I was approached by the Art Gallery of New South Wales to do this incredible exhibition, and um, they commissioned me to also make a new body of work for the show. 
It was basically the beginning of the uprisings in Iran and after the death of Mahsa Jina Amini in the hands of the morality police. It was really hard for myself and all the other Iranian friends that I have to not be able to be there, to, to fight with our own people and to be on the streets to rally with them. We saw women standing on the streets in public spaces, plaiting each other's hair, um, knowing that at any moment they would get shot or get arrested by the police. When I looked into it, I realized that all of these visual metaphors and also the slogan, uh, woman life freedom, comes from the history of, of Kurdish women liberation movement in Kurdistan and how for years women still to this day sit in the mountains, plait each other's hair in the morning, um, sing Jin Jian Azadi, which means woman life freedom, before going in to fight against the Islamic State and Daesh. So that inspired the revolution in Iran and I wanted to pay homage to that. When I think about art making and um, looking at this exhibition and seeing all the works that I made over the last 10 years or so together in one space, something that never happened before, it's a moment for me to pause and reflect. It is giving me a very different view of my own practice and understanding of it as well and seeing the connections and the pathway that I took. I think my work is a form of activism, but also I would argue that it's art and activism at the same time. What I'm trying to do with my work is provoke questions or um, make them want to think about that issue or rethink their own perception of it and so on. So I think using poetry and beauty is a way for me of, you know, making connection to the people, to the audience that I want to have those conversations with.